할렐루야 우리 다 같이 찬송가 189장 찬양하시면서 예배 준비하겠습니다. 이 am free from the old doubts and I join the shout. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Jesus saves me and keeps me just now. Hallelujah. And I join with the throng round the throng in the song. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, I know I am alive in the Lord, and I strive unto blood with the sun that were the dam. As I walk in the light, there is the strength for the fight. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Jesus saves me and keeps me just now. Hallelujah. And I join with the throng round the throng in the song. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I have a grace for the day. I have help by the way. There is a healing and a comforting balm. For my sickness, there is health. For my poverty, wealth. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Jesus saves me and keeps me just now. Hallelujah. And I join with the throng round the throng in the song. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. In the storm, in the night, in the midst of the fight, Jesus puts in my hand a victorious palm. Overcoming all foes in the Lord, I r e s Repose, I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. She just saves me that keeps me just now. Hallelujah. And I join with the throng round the throng in the song. I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Let us hear. Number three eight two. We're bound for Canaan land, so prepare your heart. If we wish there to stand, let us play our part. For then, like a Joshua, with salvation shot, understand our promised land is the heart of a God. In temptation, grief, or care, how sore distress. Be not anxious nor despair. Let us do our best. Four words then, like Joshua, with a salvation shot. Understand our promised land is the heart of the God. Pushing and where Christ has gone, fixed up on Him still. Joined in hope and heart to one, let us do His will. For then, like Joshua, with salvation shot, understand our promised land. Is the heart of a God.
lands on conquered, work undone. There his people shirk, fighting ever bravely on. Let us do his work. For then, like Joshua, with a salvation shot. Understand our promised land is the heart of a God. Next hymn number 397. Encamped along the hills, hills of a light, your Christian soldiers rise and press the battle ere the night shall veil the glowing skies against the foe in veils below. Let all our strength be hurled. Faces the victory we know that overcomes the world. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. O oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. On every hand a foe we found, drawn up in dread array. Let tents of ease be left behind, and onward to the prey. Salvation's helmet on each head, with the truth all girt about. The earth shall tremble beneath our tread and echo with our shout. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. O oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. To him that overcomes the foe, white raiment shall be given. Both the angels he shall know. His name confessed in heaven. Then a word from the hill of a light. Our hearts with the love of flame. Will vanquish all the hosts of a night in Jesus conquering the name. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. O oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Face is victory, face is victory. O oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Face is the victory, face is the victory. O oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Starting with a silent prayer, let us offer the Friday night service to Father God.
They will see His face and His name will be on their foreheads. Let us sing hymn number 401. Go forward, saints, towards two gates of heaven. Let woes and hindrances never you dismay. Let by the spirits by the Father given, how can you faint? And why this delay? Forward still, forward still. Storming the heights for heaven's gate. I firm fixed on Zion and the victory. At the portals await you unnumbered angels eager to share heaven's ecstasy. Until the Spirit's new disciplines making, in the truth path gently leads them to. Forward still, forward still, storming the heights for the heaven's gates. Eyes firm fixed on Zion and the victory, at the portals await you unnumbered angels, eager to share heaven's ecstasy. Tyrol shall join you in your heavenward going. Should not your happen, nor let your welfare cease, not till the rout of a Satan's legions knowing, soon comes the end and the reign of a peace. Forward still, forward still, storming the heights for heaven's gate. Eyes firm fixed on Zion and the victory, at the portals await you unnumbered angels eager to share heaven's ecstasy. Let us pray for our senior pastor. Let us pray for the construction of the Grand Sanctuary. Let us, let us pray for senior pastor preaching tonight and for us, Pastor Young and Lee. We'll pray for the service. Amen. 
할렐루야 사랑의 아버지 하나님 이밤 할렐루야 아버지 하나님 앞에 예배할 수 있도록 은혜 주심을 감사드립니다 영원히 죽을 수밖에 없었던 우리 영혼들을 위하여 uh, Thank you for you saved us through the Jesus Christ and uh, we, we became the true children of a Father God and uh, please let us let us the strength to give offering and then worship in truth and spread and uh, thank you for sending a senior pastor for us who prayed and endured all of the trials to devote himself strength and to show the power of God and the life of God. This church never, never pieced, uh, never turned out to the fire of the Holy Spirit of the prayer. So this church is accomplishing your providence with a fervent prayer, and thank you for all of that. This Friday night, this really precious message, so Apostle John just received the, your, your, your mysteries and the spiritual word, but now we let, they thank you for let us understanding, under, understand this message through the senior pastors. And then you just accomplished through this church of a real salvation of the all human beings. And the thank you for appointing to acting senior pastor to also show the power of God with a shepherd, uh, senior shepherd hurts. And we uh, thank you for let us just give a glory uh, and please, please, please let uh, today's, today's uh, presider's pastor be moved by Holy Spirit and please receive the all glory from the performers by the Nisi Orchestra and the choir and the please give the all grace to all members and the join the this service and then all volunteers and the workers let them reward reward your blessing Today's chapter, uh, Revelation, chapter 22, verse 11 to 11, 12. That the one who does wrong still do wrong, and that the one who is filthy still be filthy, and the one who is righteous still practice righteousness, and the one who is holy still keep himself holy. Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me. And anthem by the Emmanuel Choir and the Nisi Orchestra is next.
It's time for Manmin magazine that delivers good news around the church. Today's Manmin magazine is about the testimonies the saints share with you happily from the Malaysia Capital City Church. There was the 33 General Assembly of the United Holiness Church of the Jesus Christ on the June 26. The members of the Seoul, Honam, and the Yongnam local area. After special praises sung by the Deaconist Song. Sung Su Wan-seo, the Vice President of Pastor Susan Lee, preached the title, The Lord's Servant. She delivered a message that the servant of the Lord should empty, empty themselves and just do what the Lord wants. At the second part of the meeting, Report of the activities of the General Assembly were briefed. Then a vote for the executed election was conducted online. It turned out that Senior Pastor Dr. Jarak Lee as the President, Pastor Susan Lee, and the Elder Johnny Kim as the Vice President. Hope the United Holiness of Church of the Jesus Christ accomplished the God's will together with the President. The commun communion ceremony led by the acting senior pastor Susan Lee. It was time to gra grave a love and the grace of a Father God and the Lord in our hearts, having bread and the wine. Weekly News The special Daniel prayer meeting is scheduled from the July 9th to July 29th to pray for the summer retreat this year and the new sanctuary. Hope all members received answers and the blessing you've admired. In May this year, Pastor Song Chul Lee and his team visited Malaysia. They met the Deaconist Hugh, Hugh Fang Ping, the leader of a capital city Manmin Church. This church was established by the Deaconist Hu Fang Ping, who was loosened from the evil spreads and healed when attending 2017 summer retreat. She shared her testimony and the gospel around her. There were about the 20, member, 20 members who were waiting for the mini, uh, missionary team, even it's still quite a late evening. They were honestly willing to meet the missionary team. Pastor Sang Chul Lee prayed fervently for each number members and that they shared their testimonies. Let's see how the capital city Manmin Church of the Malaysia have been pro 
proppers and revive, listening to the members' story. Hi, I'm Dekanis Fu Pang Pain, the leader of the capital city, Manmin Church. I attended the Manmin Summer Retreat in 2017 with Madame Deborah Zhang. Devil Spirit dwelled in me was kicked out when I got the prayer for the sick by senior pastor. The time was my turning point to step on my new life. Since the Manmin summer retreat, I've become healthy and changed a lot. I feel happiness and joy I've never felt before from my deep hurt with a new life. We opened the church December 24th, 2021 with the grace given by Father God. We've also experienced countless God's words over one year. Members have their own testimony and I've assured them and the power of God is shown by the senior pastor Whenever doing it, many souls have visited here. So our church has revived with the seven at the beginning. Now, about 20 are attending the service. It's all for grace from the Father God and the Lord and the Holy Spirit. I hope spread this good news and the power of God to more souls in Malaysia with the love of the Lord. They were awarded third place at the egg contest this year for celebrating of the Easter. Among members who experienced the power of God, we met Ji Bin, whose life was a doom. But met the Lord and was healed. He now enjoys his happy face life. Hi, I'm Ji Bin, living in Malaysia. I'm a businessman. I was healed from a nine years noise bleed by the power of God shown by senior pastor. I happened to have an often bloody nose after having a car accident. The doctor said the blood vessels in my nose had a ruptured and I needed a laser treatment. However, the treatment could cause the loss of a smell, so I gave up the surgery. I had to have a difficulty doing something in daily life for, for nosebleed. So no, nosebleeding has happened anywhere, anytime. When taking a shower, driving a car, I had to rush to the bathroom whenever having bloody nose, and in a car, I had to wait until, to, until it stopped. Nose bleed for 15 or 30 minutes, I had to wait until it stopped grabbing the toilet. After that nose bleed, my head was very dizzy, and I I even had anemia. My daily life was tough to me and I was suffering. Without fail, I had a bloody nose before people. I was in panic and I didn't know how to say it. 
They also trembled because I bled quite a lot of blood for about 20 minutes. Moreover, hot weather made it worse, so I was stressed out, being worried about it. In 2020, In 2020, I had to suffer from the, both my health and the financial problem. I was stressed to the max. He was totally frustrated at his worst and healthy with a financial crisis, as if it were like a storm was getting bigger and bigger. One day, good news delivered from the one of his people for him was like a shining sunlight. Hi, I'm k a l i s Lynn Mapen. I got to know G. B. in at the workplace. At the time, he suffered from the debt problem, and it was so stressful to him. I told him that the Lord would take his burden when he accepted the Lord and delivered the gospel. After my introducing the prayer for the sick by the senior pastor, he got the prayer seven times a day. I also shared the Hu Peng Ping's testimony with him. He was touched and he believed it with his heart. I got the prayer for the sick by a senior pastor every day after k a l l i s introduced me in church. I've found peace of mind and been less stressed out since getting the prayer. Seeing my changing, I become a belief that God is alive. Back in his college took me to Fu Pang Pings. I could hear the testimony of Fu Pang Pings on the phone and got the prayer of a power of a handkerchief. Then I accepted the Lord. I also asked her to pray for my financial problem in person after a month. j i n b i n accepted the Lord by the being impressed of the testimony of the Hu Feng Ping. He experienced something miraculous after asking her prayer for his problem. I prayed for him, putting the handkerchiefs on his back. The handkerchiefs felt like a burning fire and I felt scorching. Just in one, two minutes after getting the prayer from the Hu Peng Pings, I felt my back so hot. I was about to tell her stopping the prayer due to feeling my back scorching. I found myself no bleeding nose anymore a few days later. I realized that I was healed, being burnt, with the fire of the Holy Spirit. I'm totally recovered even I didn't ask to the Father God. I feel the immense love of the God. I also acknowledge the power of authority of a God shown by the senior pastor is tremendous. I was so thrilled to hear that the Saint g i b i n s was healed feeling an unutterable love, lo- love of God. He visited me and got a prayer for the, not the symptom, but for his financial difficulty. However, God allowed him to be healed as well. The case encouraged me to trust more the power of God shown by the senior pastor, growing my faith higher. He was awake of a love of God who delicately cares his children. What has been different in his life since then? I diligently attend the services and pray every day. 
My daily life is surely okay. I entrust everything to Father God. Every day, life gradually is returning to the normal. I am deeply grateful to Father God for having no power of God shown by the senior pastor during the difficult time in my life. I give all thanks to Father God and the Lord. Thank you, senior pastor. Those who were changed through the summer retreat to share their stories and the deliver the Lord's love to others, and this becomes fruit. Now faith is being sure of the what we hope for and the certain of the what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. Work of the power of the handkerchiefs keeps going. We are in Memmain. We love Memmain. Senior Pastor will deliver a message of Revelation Check Lecture 82. Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, all saints from the branch churches and the local sanctuaries, GCN viewers, and all children of God who attend the worship online, it is very close to the end of the lecture on the Revelation. What you should clearly remember is that this time is the end, end time of the world. Human beings will not be fruitful and multiply forever, nor will the civilization of this world last forever. The history of human beings which begins in the providence of the God surely has its end, and the end is drawing very near. God wants the warning about the end of time, to be preached to the whole world. It is so that people can clearly understand the will of God and prepare themselves to welcome to the Lord. No matter how desperately evangelists warn people of the end of the time, however, not all of them who here will comprehend it. Daniel chapter 12, verse 10 says, Many will be purged, purified, and refined, but the weak will act weakly. And the none of the weak they will understand, but those who have insight will understand. Those who pursue goodness can understand the will of God when they listen to the word begin, being preached and that they will depart from the sin to purify their hearts. Such people are those who are wisdom. On the, on the other hand, that those who cling to evil don't understand even they hear the word of God. They continue as well, committing the act of evil and steadily become more and more evil. As the black gets blacker and the white gets whiter, the gap between the flesh and the spirit becomes wider and wider. Tonight's scripture, Revelation chapter 22, explains the polarization between the evil and the righteous at the end time of the world. Revelation chapter 22, 11 says, Let the one who does wrong still do wrong. To the one who is filthy, still filthy. Even if the believers preach the will of God, those who won't listen will continue in the wrong and the remain the fi filthy. God, even His, His only begotten Son, to save the sinner. However, it is up to the free will give it each of us whether we receive the salvation or not. Rather, he makes his people keep preaching the gospel and give the grace of salvation to those who repent. However, no matter how many times people hear the gospel, unless they accept it, God cannot save them. Lot's sons in the law didn't listen to Lot's who told the judgment of Sodom and Gomorrah would wreak, uh, wreak havoc on them. 
They were willing to not to listen to Lot, considering it's a joke. They went to the desk for the judgment. Lot's wife also didn't listen to the direction delivered to her. She became a salt pillar as soon as turning back for admiring her old life in the Sodom and the Gomorrah. Also, people in the Noah's era totally ignored Noah's warning that the great flood judgment was near, but they just kept drinking, eating, and they ended up going to death. I feel sorrow seeing that some people are still committing the sin and the lawlessness lawlessness to no matter how big and great wonders, miracles are happening in in this church. How unfortunate is that people never react about you delivering the good news. There's no way There's no way to, for Father, Father God to save the people who never listen to the Word of God. God has no other choice but to let the one who does wrong still do wrong, and the one who is the filthy be filthy. What does He mean by the doing wrong? 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Older you do not know that the unrighteous will not inherit in the kingdom of God. Here is the reason why you should not be tempted. The scripture says, Do you not know that the unrighteousness will not inherit in the kingdom of God? This means you should have never, never be tempted. You know your way around it, don't you? Does the world look good to you? It does not to me. If you know the beauty of heaven, how this world look to, looks good to you? How comes? How comes does it happen to you heading for hell, reading the books of heaven and hell? This world is just full of something decayed, smelly, and spoiled. What on earth makes you love the smelly world left behind the beautiful heaven? What is good to you on the earth? Neither for fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminated, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor covetous, or drunkards, or relievers, swindlers, will inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says countless times that those who love the world can't be handed over the heavenly things. Still, Christian leaders teach that people who just attend the church are being saved. Their teaching is totally opposite from the Bible that describe the how to be saved and the what cases are in excluded in the saved. But they teach that people who once accepted the Holy Spirit are supposed to be saved. The leaders omit the important parts that just calling the Lord's name and confessing with their lips but not practicing don't have to do with the being saved in the Bible. The leaders omit the important parts What is the flesh work and the flesh things? Father, these wrongdoings may develop into filthy things. Filthy things refer to things that cause a person to abandon the de decency in pursuit of an immoral and prodigal lifestyle. 
It is so common things that are so unclean that shocking that virtually all people will look down on them. Such a things belong to filthy things within the scope of the immoralities. Another example would be jealousy goes extreme, it becomes a filthy thing. The hurt of a jealousy that conceived the act of the evil toward others from the jealousy is itself already a wrong doing. Some people become so jealous that they will try to, to destroy others by all means. You may find that such people in the history. Women in the royal court become jealous of others and practice the sorcery. They shot arrows into other portraits or stuck dolls of the others' images with the needles. They try to destroy others even by depending on their evil spirits. Such acts of the dispelling curses also belong to the filthy things. There is a point when a wrong thing s thought and deeds be beyond the limits and become a filthy thing s that should not be tolerated, tolerated by any conscious of the decay. Some cases happen among your members. How a dirty behavior it is that trying to drive a wedgie between you, telling a lie to isolate a person from others. Dear brothers and sisters, as the world comes close to its end, unrighteousness and lawlessness become more rampant, and then they separate to others more quickly. Things that the people used to so shame the not decades ago, but just a few years ago, are things that the people are not shamed about today and even openly flaunted to today. When people come across with such filthy actions once or twice, what they see and hear becomes a planet in their hearts. Then their conscience becomes desensitized and the evil things are no longer shocking to them. When they keep company with the friends who are bad, it is only a matter of the time before children raise the goodness becomes evil as well. When they see the bad friends hit speak bad words, at first they are shocked and it scares them, but as time goes by, it becomes a common place to them, even though they are conscious of striking at first. They will mimic the action. After they repeat a couple of times, even the pangs of the conscious disappear. They soon easily use full, full language to hit others and boldly steal what belongs to others. It is the same with the grounds up. If they repeatedly watch and listen to the unrighteousness and the law, lawlessness in the world, which is full of sin and evil, they gradually fall deeper and deeper into sin. In this world, there are people who desperately seek God out of the goodness in their consciousness. Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 says, I heard another voice from the heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not participate in her sins and receive of her pl plagues. Even in this sinful world today, God meets those who seek Him. God helps them stay in the light and keep themselves so that they can enter the heaven. The latter part of the Revelation chapter 22-11 is explanation about the such people who believe in the God and the cast the sin off. Let the one who is righteous still practice righteousness and the, the one who is holy still keep himself holy. The righteous refers to those who believe the word of God, obey the word, and practice the word. And they totally change it to holy people. They are those who separate themselves from the world, accomplish the world, and have achieved what belongs to the truth. Such righteous and holy people are different in depth. It is like among the those who accomplish, the people of the whole spirit are different from the people of the spirit. When people exceed the level of obeying the word, which is the level of righteousness, and accomplish everything that belongs to the aspect of the truth, to the extent you understand every word of God while practicing the world, you resemble the heart and the characteristic of the Lord. As you resemble the heart and the characteristic of the Lord, the words you speak and the actions you take become elegant and dignified. 
And you can receive the wisdom of heaven and act according to the given situation, no matter whom you meet and what situation you are in. 1 Peter chapter 1, 15 to 16 says, But like the Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves also in your behavior. It's a father's order. But the like Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves also in all your behavior. Because you are a children of a Father God. He ordered, I am, a, I am a holy, you are holy. See, Father God is holy, so we should be holy. He is perfect, we should be perfect. He is good, we should be good following Him. We have to resemble Father God because we are the children of Father God. So we have to resemble Father, God, and the Lord. Christian leaders should teach that way. However, some of them questions like, how can, how can human beings be holy like God? Unlike the leaders, still Father God asks us to be holy like Him. God desires to be righteous and furthermore to become holy. In this sinful world, however, you cannot live in holiness by your will alone. You cannot live set apart from the world just even thought you hate sin and the evil. Even if you didn't want to, you will become a dull to sin and the evil because you are surrounded by evil in the world. Moreover, and unfortunately, there are not many churches that point out sin. Even if a church points out sin, it's not that all of the congregation departs from the sin. They become conscious of strike and when they hear the word, but they don't make up their mind to turn back. They just stand between the church and the world. When feeling troubling in the heart after their sins are pointed out to them, some people move to another church that doesn't point out their sin. Is salvation there? I surely said that what is a sin whenever I led and preached the revival meeting, no matter where it was, what title I had. After the meeting, the some leaders came to me saying, it would be okay to mention about sin? Your members still stay with you, even though you point to the sin part? Because almost church members feel uncomfortable to listen to sermon mentioning about the sin, they were also curious if men members were still in the church. I answered, Mammy members give a thanks to Father God for having them know what is sin they had to get rid of. Because that is absolutely weight, absolute weight to be saved. They know it very well, so they stay in the church. Listen, do your children run away from the you're scolding them? Are they stay far from you because you point their fault? Do they say, I hate my mom and dad because they are too strict? Maybe not. If they know you love them, they run to you and stay in your arms. That's love. Sometimes, Father God looks harsh to us because He loves us. You can see the cases in the Bible. God just let Apostle Paul and Peter be martyred and the Deacon Stephen too. Did God not love them? He loved them so much. This is an exact way to save the soul. I keep mentioned about the sins, saying what you have to repent. Those who are supposed to be saved and never leave the church due to feeling hurt for a harsh sermon. Rather, they give thanks to Father God and the joy going to spread. Those who move to church that doesn't say anything sinful doesn't believe in the Lord. 
and the word of the God. How come do they do even they believe in the Lord? Due this fact, churches are busy reading the face of the congregation and that they will not point out sins. Of course, no matter how many times point out, those who don't keep to themselves but get stained with the world. Even in the reality, you should meditate on the Word of God if you want to keep yourself righteous and holy, and you should also pray without ceasing. 1 Timothy 4, verse 5 says, For it is sanctified by means of the Word of God and prayer. You should receive the strength of the Holy Spirit in the Word of God. You cannot be holy on your way. Of course, you need to make an effort to be. With the help of God Father, grace of the Father God, help of the Holy Spirit, you can be holy. With the, with the full three conditions, you can be changed. Only with your own effort, even you can't help you, even you can't get help of the Holy Spirit. The more you know what is the committed sin, doing righteousness, evil, and goodness, the clearer you know what you have to do. So now, learning the Word of God is necessary with the praying. Pray is also one of the most important to be moved by the Holy Spirit. The power of God is up in you. Finally, you are changed. To go to Spirit or to go to Holy Spirit. Then, when you come to the crossroad of the good and evil, you can discern by the word and choose the goodness thanks to the prayer. If you compromise with the unrighteousness of the evil at the moment of the choice, those who receive the Holy Spirit can feel the mourning of the Holy Spirit. Since they feel the trouble in their hearts, they can look back to see what his problem was. If you attend the church, and if you don't feel troubled in your heart after choosing and following the way of unrighteousness, then your belief must surely be faulty. Instead of the keeping your self-righteousness holy, you are seriously stained. Even those who once tried to stay away from the unrighteousness, if they give once and twice, the enemy devil and the Satan will never lose the opportunity. Those who used to attend all kinds of a service come to attend only Sunday and the Friday service. They often uh, attend a, ser- a Sunday morning service only. They begin to miss a prayer meeting once and twice, and then they eventually cease, cease praying. That's why our Lord asks us to keep praying unceasingly. Since they don't have a fullness, they don't attend their cell or group meeting. If they are forced to attend, they make a trouble for others and hold a grudge. Then they do feel things that belong to the Spirit, and instead they begin to take worldly things. They take back up what they seem to have cast off when they had a fullness. As they fall into the world like this, if they catch a serious disease or encounter trials, it will be rather a fortune. In many cases, however, when they fall into the situation, they don't have a strength to turn back. Since they don't have a confidence before God, they rather look for the worldly matters. They may even depart from the God completely. Among you who are listening to this message, I hope there will be none who becomes set apart from the way of the life. If you fail to keep the faith way, rather going forward the worldly way, what a waste of time you'd spend 10 or 15 or 20 years in the church. For once committing the deed of the flesh of a one who stands on the third level faith, the once faith level drops to the first faith. What an a p p e r s thing! The one has to start from the zero to grow the faith again. With the repenting all and the heavenly reward demolish it. That means the one committed the sin that lead him or her to death, it makes rise the wrath of the God. What a foolish act! 
I urge you to change to become a more righteous and a holy even every day and to preserve the, your whole spirit, soul, and body without blame. Dear brothers and sisters, there is one thing you should remember from the tonight's scriptures, that the one who does the wrong still do wrong, and the one who still is filthy still is filthy. It doesn't mean that church l e t members go to death. A church should con constantly preach the truth. Those who have received the life and have known the truth should preach the gospel, both in the season and out of the season. Even if they don't listen to you, no matter what you do, you should never give up. It's a matter if a soul lives forever or dies forever. You should pray for the souls till the end of and by the faith, and you should preach the gospel again when you have a chance. Now, fill the heart of the Noah who built the ark. Matthew chapter 24, 38-39 says, For as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark. All of them, ignoring Noah's warning, didn't realize the great flooding coming. The same today, Christians who idle away in their faith life don't realize the last moment coming. The moment is coming like a thief to them. For our Lord is coming like a thief to them. They are not saved because they are, uh, they are not awake. If a family... Our Lord's second coming will happen in this way. Now we should be awake because we never know what is happening tomorrow. Otherwise, something unexpected can wreak havoc on us, such as a car accident. We don't know what happened today. For example, like a car accident, the period when Noah made the ark was not short, since the ark had to hold every living thing of the old flesh in the earth, just how huge was the ark. During the long years when Noah built this ar huge ark, whenever he had a spare time, he warned people of the judgment of God. Even though those days of the peace seems like they would last, Noah knew that the judgment was immediately before them. But no one believed what he said. Matter of fact, they regarded him to be quite strange. Can you imagine how much Noah's heart must have been a burning as the earth was being completed? In order to make uh, just one man listen to him, enter the ark, and receive the salvation, how strongly did he honestly urge whomever he met? However, no matter how loudly he cried, the people didn't listen to him. When the time came, the flood started, the Noah couldn't cry out anymore. He had no other choice but to close the door of the ark. You should become a Noah of today and a preach. Since you believe and enter the ark of the salvation beforehand, you should diligently make an effort to lead all people the world into this ark of salvation. Even though there was not a single one who listened to the Noah and repented, There are still today's many souls who can receive the salvation today. Even if they don't accept the gospel right now, many of them will change when you pray for them and you pay attention to them with love. During this week, how many times did you preach the gospel to others? How many hours have you prayed each day for the lost soul and for souls you wanted to preach the gospel to? Being lazy to preach the gospel can be a wall of the sin between you and Father God. Do you know why? Because God cherished one soul more than all, all the world, and He bought a soul, giving up His Son. 
Being lazy to preach the gospel, in other words, means you don't uh, love Father God anymore. How desperately do you pray from your innermost heart for the world mission and the national evangelization? I hope that you can feel the burning heart of the Lord who desire to save just one more soul before the gates of salvation is closed. Just like a last boat whistle that blows right before the ship sets sail, your voice should be heard in every corner of the world. Now, Revelation chapter 22, 12 says, Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done. In heaven, each person receives the reward according to what they have done. And the reward are different from each other. Some people are not aware of this and they say something totally wrong. They say, we are in the heaven in the ranks. Everyone is equally as a God child. Is it fair to receive the same treatment? They may say that it's greedy to seek to receive the rewards. They may even say it is right, not right to have a, such a heart. However, our Lord and Moses mentioned about the heavenly reward. But the will of God is never like that. As you can find the Bible, there are surely the great and the small, and that there are big rewards and small rewards. And God wants to be a, become a greater in heaven and to receive the greater rewards. Let me tell you an ex ex example. Let's say parents make a promise to their children. Hey, you guys, if you receive the grade B at the mid-turn, I will buy a PlayStation. If you get A, then I will buy a new PC. If you got A+, plus, they go on a trip to Europe for a summer vacation. They are making a great deal of promise. However, what the parents truly wishes for their children to get A+, plus, since they wish all their loving children to study well, they make a promise. They want all their children to receive the promise or reward. If the children understand this a heart of the parents, they become grateful to their parents and try hard to get better grades. Not because they want to get reward, but because they understand the love of their, their parents, they want to give them the something back for their love. Now, there's a different kinds of children. They say, we don't study to get something from you. I will study just as long as I want. I don't care if, you, if I don't receive the such a reward. They don't pay much attention to their parents' promise. Since they seem to have a no greed for anything and that they don't demand something from their parents, they appear sensible and wise. In fact, however, they don't understand the heart of their parents. They don't even accept their love. How heavy their parents would feel when they see such as children. The children who know what their parents means answer, Dad, that's a good idea. I will study harder to take the family trip. Then the parents are proud of their kids. And that answer is really pleased to their parents. It is the same with the hearts of God the Father. Since God loved us so much, He made a promise of abundant reward. He taught all of us how to receive such rewards, and He wishes all of, the, all of us to receive the great reward. He desires us to look forward to promise and walk the way to heaven with joy. Father God is thrilled to look at the, His children who obey Him. They expect the rewards of Father God's promise to them. Why? If someone insists that the glory and the ranks are equal for all the people in heaven and the rewards are the same as well, without knowing such as the heart of God, He is one of who makes God sad. He makes even others misunderstand the will of God so that they don't receive the good rewards. 
and those, even if he saved and received the salvation, he cannot become but least in heaven. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, he is and that that is His rewarder of those who, he, those who seek Him. Please bear in mind the promise of God who repays each one according to what has done. When you read or listen to this verse, And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who He honors to seek Him. You said, I believe God is alive Almighty. However, however, it's ironical that you don't live by faith while you confess that God is Almighty. As the Bible says, you are liars if you being belong in this case. Again, you say you have a relationship with the Father God while you don't practice the Word of God. It's a lie. How dare you live against the Word of God? How dare you keep your own, own life that leads to endless fear repeat? How dare, how dare you go to do there? I'm kind of a brave man. I have nothing to fear, but I'm afraid of, afraid of the word of God. I violate the word of God? Oh, no. Just thinking about it scares and creeps me out. By doing so, By doing so, I urge you to receive the abundant reward that God has prepared and that becomes a place to you, God. Let me conclude today's message, dear brothers and sisters. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 25 says, Everyone who completes in the games, exercising self-control in all things, they then do it to receive the perishable, perishable wreath, but we in imperishable. It is not an easy to job to accomplish the sanctification with the hope for individual heaven. However, if you believe in the heaven and the hope for heaven, and also truly understand the love of God, sanctification is not so difficult. Once Apostle Paul saw heaven, he was not afraid of any afflictions of the world. He didn't see the New Jerusalem but per- paralyzed, but that alone made him full of hope for heaven that helped him overcome the world. Even being the better of, better, better of the leaf of a royal court as the son of the prince, Moses chose to receive the trial along with the people of God. It's because he was certain that how huge reward God would be given to him. Moses looked forward to heavenly rewards from the God. He turned down the position of the prince of the Egypt that enabled to be next king. He was loved by the king of the, the time. The king loved Moses more than his son. However, Moses gave up all of the wealth, fame, and authority. I deeply sigh looking at the student and the youth craving worldly things. Why on earth do they like such a dirty, small thing and that never hesitate to commit sins? Please think about yourself. What a poor kid. What a poor kid I am. Look at yourself denying the beautiful and the nicest places in heaven. You are looking up the worthless things on the earth. Think about it. This reward is not perishable but eternal. It is more glorious than any other rewards in the world. You know well the story of the rich man and the Lazarus, the beggar. If you compare their lives only this earth, the life of the rich man is surely look blessed. However, the result is completely the opposite. 
It is a hundred times better to live as a beggar in the earth and go to heaven than to live rich in the earth and go to hell. Besides, the gospel of the sanctification you hear is a word that is so powerful to change even the miserable life of a beggar. It makes you not only enjoy the glory of heaven, but also make you prosper in all aspects as and the soul prosper and give glory to God. The Bible says there is one glory of the sun, the another glory of the moon, and the another glory of the stars, for stars differ from the stars in glory. Why are they different in glory? It's absolutely right, isn't it? Father God pays back what you sow and what you've done on the earth. Therefore, glory people bring to Father God is countless of various. It's glory of the sun, glory of the moon, glory of the stars numerous in the sky. Likewise, kinds of glory are copious. You know there are a lot of much bigger stars than the sun, don't you? Are the stars in the glory the same? Which glory is brighter? The sun or bigger stars? The sun's glory? We consider the glory of the sun the best. Why? The sun is the brightest with the naked eyes. Even though there are many bigger and older stars, the second brightest is the moon and the next stars. Those who completely believe the word and obey will receive the older promised rewards, but those who obey the less will receive the less. I hope that since you are given your life for just once, you will wise enough to invest all you have in the glory of the Son. May you confess that I truly did the right things. I really chose the blessed way at the last moment of your life and to give a praise of a thanks to God forever and ever. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Let us pray reminding of today's lecture. Amen. We receive the senior pastor's prayer for the sick on video. Place your hands on the ill or weak parts. And if you are not sick, place on your hands on your chest or receive the answer by the face. Hallelujah. Almighty God, our loving Father, please lay your hands on all believers who are receiving this prayer now. Show your works and the transcend the time and the space on those who are receiving the prayer through the GCN, Internet, and the satellite TV in branch churches and the local sanctuaries and all of the children of God around the world. Give them the faith to believe from the heart to drive away negative thought and the doubts, all tests and the trials. From head to toes, all organs, joints, nerves, tissues, and cells, whatever the sixth part may be, burn them with the fire of the Holy Spirit and the original light. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the enemy devil and the Satan, all diseases, germs, and the viruses, and the infirmities go away. Light come. Please scorch all their incurable diseases with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Drive away all endemic diseases, including malaria, all infectious diseases, including cold, flu, and the fever, go away. Protect them from the all kinds of germs and the viruses. Heal them of all stomach, long river, breast, uterine, and the in intestinal cancers, AIDS, leukemia, cerebral broke, stroke, high, low, and blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid problem, and the heart, lungs, and the women disease, and the inflammations go away. Heal them of a polio, stroke, arthritis, and 
heart-inated disc back pain, headache, neuralgia, and all other pains disappear. Epilepsy, autism, depression, neurosis, and other mental diseases go away. All kinds of paral paralysis and be loosened to get up, walk, and leap. Let the eyes see, let the ears hear, let the blind come see, the deaf hear, and the mute speak. Heal them of after effect of all kinds of accidents. Fix their broken bones. Restore them from burns. Let them heat and the burning sensation go away. Father, please have all skin be intact. Be cleansed from the all kinds of drug addictions, poisoning, and the substance abuse. Let the dead nerve tissues and the cells be regenerated. Bring the dead back to the life. Give them the blessing of a conception. Receive the blessing of a conception. In the name of the Jesus Christ, I command the enemy devil and the Satan, the ruler of the power of the air, evil forces the heavenly places, and that their servant go away. Go away evil, unclean, false, and the deceitful spirits, something alienating, and all forces of darkness, loosen the burn of the weakness. Darkness go away, light come. Father God, give them the strength to cry out in the prayer and the power to cast off sins and become sanctified. As their souls prosper, let all things go well with them, and let their families be evangelized. Protect them from the all kinds of accidents and the disasters through this week, and bless them to the lead a prosperous life without any problem. With the fiery will of the Holy Spirit, heavenly hosts and angels, and with your blazing eyes, protect all your children, their family, workplace, and the business field. Please let students have a wisdom and the smartest. and have them be willing to study with the Father. Please do not let them lose their heart to the worldly things. Whether your children eat or drink and whatever they do, let them live a life of glorifying your Father God. Let them be able to testify about the living God, saying, I have met the experienced God and received His answer to blessing. Father God, thank you. Be glorified alone. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Let us give offering to God. Sing Menmin Praise number 94. I will pray for the offerings. Father God, here is tied. Here are our offerings for Thanksgiving, sanctuary construction, vote of offering support, and the missionary works, and the birthday. Father, please accept them gladly and lay your hands on them. Please bless them so that good measure to press down and pour it into your lap. Father, please help them to protect their homes and works and the business. Also bless us with the 30 times, the 6 times, and the 100 times according to what we've done and the s o n In the name of the Jesus Christ, our Lord, I pray, Amen.
Let us close the Friday night service with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom comes, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And no, not lead us into the temptation, but deliver from the evil. For yours is kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.